Hi, welcome to Market Alert for Monday, 24th of September 2018. So the pound on Friday uh, took a bit of a battering. You can see uh, the market uh, moving lower, and in particular once we broke the DP and uh, the 200 bar moving average prices just uh, accelerated to the downside there, but then became uh, sideways as they've done so on the overnight and remain that way at the moment. So a fairly uh, big move to the downside. Let's just have a look at uh, Friday's range. The high down to the low is uh, 223 uh, pips there to the downside for Friday. And this is what it looks like in the daily chart. Big reversal there. Uh, Brexit uh, obviously uh, dominating this market and the news that uh, there wasn't really a deal after last week uh, spending all of it uh, trying to come to some sort of a deal the Europeans weren't ex uh, accepting it and this is the result by the end of the week the market uh, lower after hitting the uh, 132 and 92 level there so it's a downside uh, for this market uh, so let's just draw in a few uh, lines to the downside see where prices are likely to trade to we've got uh, here here and then ultimately here and then fibs on the downside well the main one is from here to uh, here which brings you to uh, the same level there 129 so that crucial 130 level is going to be the first downside target and that's where the market's uh, currently trading at at the moment in uh, this uh, area so uh, watch out uh, for the 130 level that's a major psychological level for this market and uh, in the Dow for Friday well as I said profit taking after the market had moved higher uh, just a bit of a sideways move and then became really sideways uh, for the latter part of the session nothing there to write home about but that's what was expected interestingly enough in the daily chart though we have some fascinating uh, picture here uh, you can see there the volume is higher than the previous day's bar when the market moved higher and I told you about this uh, trend and low volume We've got a situation here where we have huge uh, selling pressure in this market uh, causing the market to um, uh, trade sideways to lower albeit a smaller range there's been some absorption of the volume as well during friday because the market hasn't sold off uh, during the overnight and i suspect uh, they will do whatever they can to hold the market at these all-time highs for the time being as we head in towards uh, october so we do have some selling around was quadruple witching as well which uh, I spoke of in Friday's uh, alert as well news for today well there's only Super Mario out today at 2 p.m. keep an eye on this he's bound to be finished by the time the Dow finishes uh, sorry before the Dow opens because um, he hasn't got a lot to say and nobody believes him anymore and again they ignore him and just move the markets to the upside anyway Meanwhile, Bitcoin managed to break out on Friday with a bit of a move to the upside. However, during the weekend, you can see that the markets failed to do move it, uh, higher. And we have lower highs from uh, the Saturday high, Sunday, and moving lower so far on the intraday. You can see there, a bit closer there, you can see where the market broke out and has been sideways uh, since. Uh, will the market come back in and go back to the downside? There's every possibility it will do get some sort of retracement. Uh, we have seen the market uh, move and spike and generally this is a way to suck people into thinking it's going higher and then bring the market uh, back. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do see it uh, move lower. However, if this is the start of a new trend, you will certainly need to take out uh, this high uh, here and also watch for the market pulling back to uh, this level here as this will be uh, an area where I would expect to see some sort of uh, support coming into the market if it is uh, the area of uh, 
uh, support there. Also watch the uh, 6440, the orange line there, and the 200 bar moving average to make sure prices stay above uh, this level as well. Okay, that will do it for this one. If there's anything to report, I will let you know. But other than that, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.